Okay. All right, well, today is an exciting day. Uh, we have the septic installation happening. So it's one of the last steps that we have before we get our house put in. Um, so I, we just wanted to show you kind of what's been done. Unfortunately, the septic guys got out here um, before we were here. So they already did quite a bit of work that we didn't get to film. But uh, that's just the hard part about doing YouTube is we're not always here and we can't always film everything. So uh, I'll flip the camera around. We'll show you what we did. Starting from my dad's RV, you can see that they already have um, some pipe laid out here. And this is what they are, had already done prior to us getting here. Um, so they have an excavator over there. They basically trenched, uh, we'll get there in a second, but the, the main septic holes over there, they trenched all this and then they already backfilled it. So the uh, pipe you see here is already running through this area um, that got trenched. So I'll kind of just quickly uh, walk that way and I'll show you what it looks like over there. So right here is our house pad. So this is where the mobile home is going to be. And then here's the rest of the septic work that's getting done. So they trenched all this with the excavator. This line right here is what's going <coughs> to come up. So this is going to be our main sewer line. Um, look at that awesome outfit right there. Oh my goodness. Um, so that'll come up the, you know, the mobile home will be right here. Um, and, uh, it'll get plumbed. So from the main line, it'll come down, it goes over here and then boom, this huge hole that is very, very deep. And over here, this is the actual uh, leech line that they'll be uh, running. So I'm going to, hop down in this hole and show you quite, uh, just how deep it is. It's a really deep hole. I'm six foot four, so you know it's right about my height. Um, some areas might be a little bit higher, but huge hole. And then this is where the actual concrete septic tank, main holding tank will go. They haven't delivered it yet today, uh, but they'll drop that in at some point. And this is where everything gathers before it goes off that way into the leech line. Um, now I'm gonna try to get out of here. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. All right, I haven't jumped in a while. We'll see how it goes. Well, now that I'm back out of the hole, I'll kind of take you on a little walk, uh, just showing you how they're doing the leech lines. Looks like they're doing kind of a curve. I think they're following the slopes. That's why it's curving like that. Um, you probably can't see it in the video, but there's kind of a little bit of a gully right there. So that's the low spot. So they are going this way because it's downhill and then they're ending uh, over there, which is the lowest spot. So that's kind of their way of using the uh, natural grade to their advantage to make sure that um, everything drains well. So the leech line ends just a couple feet past where they're at right now. That purple line is gonna be the end of it, I believe. So somewhere right down there is where all the water will go. This is a fully aerobic system. Um, so we are gonna have basically sprinklers that'll let off uh, water on a timer. So somewhere down here, I think there might be a couple, I'm not sure, um, along this leech line, there'll be a sprink sprinkler head or two that'll let off uh, the excess water. Okay, so where this gentleman's standing here, uh, that's gonna be one of the sprinkler heads, which is what he's got there. And then uh, where the other gentleman is down there, that'll be the other sprinkler head. <laughs> he's telling him to do something. Um, so it's just gonna be two sprinkler heads. Uh, that'll go off on a timer. All right, so just like that, he is uh, already starting to backfill all this dirt that they just dug out. So, I guess they must have flagged where the sprinkler is. Uh, they already got it covered, but you can see he's pushing, pushing dirt back in place. 
there we go I found it so hidden down here of course we'll have a we'll use a shovel and stuff and probably a tamper to clean this up but so there's the sprinkler head and uh, this is the farthest sprinkle head sprinkler head um, and he's just covering that stuff up where the other gentleman is standing down there is the other sprinkler head goes back up to the house pad and then over to my dad's RV so on this side um, this is the main sewage line that's going to go to my dad's RV and then potentially a house in the future um, there was a truck parked here which is why they couldn't uh, excavate it so they'll ditch this where you can see this coming out and uh, somewhere in this area I think my dad has to tell him exactly where he wants it so they'll keep ditching and then add a little bit more um, pipe and it'll come somewhere in this area and then we'll have a cap so that this black uh, sewage line from the RV can drop right in and that will be his main line which will flow all the way down there to the tank um, so what we're going to do is this ditch is going to kind of come this way the bathroom we're going to build right out here on this corner so that guests and stuff when we have people over they can use a bathroom here um, so they'll dig the ditch and this line will run this way and then we're going to have a bathroom here and then there will be a T in the pipe that will lead to my dad's RV hookup. So that's kind of what's going to happen. Okay, so right now he's just kind of moving some of that concrete, the crushed concrete that we had. Uh, and then he's going to start digging the ditch. All right, so I wasn't here for it. My dad filmed it, I believe.
they got the actual septic tank down in the hole got stuff capped off and they're already back filling dirt So right now he is installing the uh, T-pipe and then it's going to connect to that other one and you can see the little white elbow at the end so that elbow will get attached. It'll come up to another small piece of pipe and then that's where my dad's RV, RV septic will go. And then this side is going to come over here, we'll cap it off temporarily and then whenever we uh, build a bathroom in this area, then we'll just uh, run a line into that. In typical East Texas fashion, a uh, storm just rolled in, started raining. So they're uh, getting things done pretty quick. Everything is uh, covered back up. They're still gonna go and clean up all this dirt and stuff. Um, so the gentleman right behind me is working on the pump and just getting all the wires done. Um, there's a little box behind him. I don't know if you can see it. That is the actual timer box for the sprinkler. So that's what he's rigging up the pump to. And uh, they're working over there, filling up the stuff to my dad's RV, but a couple hours and it'll be all done. So this little pipe here is the, uh, the clean out for our house. Um, there is more pipe under the ground. They just covered it up because it's supposed to rain. Um, so once our house is delivered, they'll come back undig that uh, pipe that's buried and then they'll plumb uh, over to about here is where the actual inlet for our house is going to be and everything over here is pretty well cleaned up this blue pipe you see sticking out is going to be for the bathroom and right over here the cap where that black pipe will hook up and my dad will be able to finally uh, drain a septic tank all right I'm gonna record from kind of far away um, that way you can hear me well basically what we have to do next is we're gonna hook up a hose to the well which of course is in here so just a normal garden hose we're gonna run um, over towards where the two guys are working. Hold on, let me get out of the way. He's running the box blade. Just starting to smooth everything out. Um, so what we're gonna do is we'll take a garden hose from the, sh uh, from the well and run it over to uh, where the guys are over there. They'll set that hose down into the compressor tank, uh, only the compressor tank and they'll start filling up that compressor tank so that the pump and everything is already in water and once everything's in water and they can prime it and pretty much after that the septic will be done um, and then they're just going to do some work uh, you know to clean up the dirt around all the the caps and everything and we'll pretty much be done so all right well it's not fully cleaned up but here's kind of a uh, quick look at the whole system so these are the four main caps. Comes over, and here's the compressor. There's a little cement box for it, and the electrical box. All right, so we got the hose ran to the well. My dad's about to turn it on.